to Bordeaux in France. We're here for the European Space Agency's 72nd parabolic flight campaign. I'm Dr. Helen Chersky. And I'm Ginny Smith. We're going to be looking at some of the scientific experiments going on in this plane here. Now, I'm going to stay as part of the ground crew, which I'm quite happy about, but Helen, you're actually going to be going up there and experiencing zero G. The great thing about the range of experiments you can do up here is you can imagine yourself in so many places in the galaxy and the solar system and even a little bit of science in this environment is really useful just because it's so different. See that's a perfect, almost perfect parabola for us and we're just monitoring so just, the acceleration just, in one direction. Keeping it, so oh, it's just let it go. So you could actually print things out of Mars. That, that is a bit of the idea wow. that you just take the powder or the, the, the sand you find on the planet's surface, put it in the printer and then you can make, I don't know, uh, bricks for your house. Or... I love this little box on the top here. So imagine being on the beach on another planet and we can imagine here, look at the sand just moving around. Imagine stepping on a beach on another planet or an exoplanet. But the problem is that we have only irregular particles and there is no universal rules, universal physical law for the light scattered by irregular particles. Yeah, you can you can do a thousand tests, but the next morning in the plane it will be different. So. Isn't experimental science great? <laughs> yes, perfect. I will be extremely embarrassed if I if I am sick. Very, very much so. It's really interesting being able to track Helen's flight on the screen here and see exactly where she is. And there's an inhibition and that takes element longer. as well. When that the arrow longer. goes in one direction, then you have to go in the other direction. You've exactly. got to inhibit takes, the instinct yeah. to... Yeah, it's amazing how capable our brain is of being able to flip orientation very quickly. Well, this is the free floating area, and this is the only place in the plane where we're allowed to free float. It's just occurred to me it should be called a free floating volume, shouldn't it? But yes. anyway, <laughs> this is the only place you're allowed to free float. Um, the mathematicians will have a word <laughs> Sorry. with you. 